your journey started for some time now, and this is the moment to go and crown. Remember, Check. you are carrying the heart of uh, the hearts of about 30 million people to Morocco. The 30 million people will be glued to TV, watching you and thinking that you should have everything for us. And so you must go thinking that the cup is for us. If we are from Ghana, we are always thinking that as for football in Africa, we are the best. Some time back, there was a, an interview to Luther Matthews of Germany. And they were going to play a final match with Brazil. And they asked him, how do you see the Brazil team? He said, they are very good. But what I know is that we are from Germany. Do you understand? It means that from Germany, he knows that they don't give up. We should go into the game with confidence and with uh, the, the, the thinking that we are the best team on the, on the continent of Africa. Uh, the vice president has a lot to tell you, so I don't want to say much. But on behalf of the people of Ghana, the minister and the minister of youth and sports, we wish you well. And we hope that on the last day, we'll all converge in Morocco, uh, yeah, Morocco, to spare you on to win the cup. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief Director, Mr. Kati. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Um, good morning, Coach. Good morning. Uh, it's all men here, our, our, our glorious team. Uh, my name is Mark Addo, and I'm on here on behalf of uh, our President of the FA and the Executive Council. Um, he asked me, he called me last night, he said, Mark, can you come and say a few words to the team? Because he's also at uh, Mediama, uh, Takwa, for the uh, coronation of the, some of you were, some of you are Mediama, Medi anybody from Mediama here? So I had one. I had one. Only one, okay, so I'm humbled to be here in front of you and uh, hoping to, um, that the little words that we say can go a long way to help in your preparation and also in your commitment to uh, trying to make Ghana proud. Um, I am very happy to be here, for one, for the fact that, and also to congratulate you for what you've accomplished. We have not been to the Olympics, God knows how long. Um, Since 204. 204. I remember fond memories. I was in the US at that time, when Ghana played against Italy in Washington. I think we beat them 3-0. That was a top Italian team. They had, um, what's the name of those people? The, the one who missed the penalty, Bia Baggio. And all these top, top players. The, the one who's coaching, yes, Peru, Peru, yeah, top, top. But we beat them with our, with our, our, our youthful team in Italy, in uh, Washington. Amazing, amazing. I still remember that game vividly in my mind. Now, Chief Rata says something that, and I want to elaborate a little more, that we are Ghana. In Ghana, we just don't qualify. We win. We know, we, it's not about when we are playing tournaments, you say we'll be qualified. Gone are the days. We don't, qualification was just given. It was about a cup. And that's the mentality that we should have. We have some of the best players on the continent, if not the world. People are talking about Senegal and Senegal. Listen, we have some of the best players on this, in the continent in Ghana here. And you know it. But to be able to accomplish your goals in terms of where you are now, you have to be humble. You have to be humble to die for each other, to fight for each other, to fight for every ball. You know, people talk about Morocco in the World Cup. Morocco is not the most talented team. But what did you, what did you see on that pitch that day? Somebody tell me, what did you see on that pitch on that day when they were playing the World Cup? What was so unique about them? I want one word. What was that? What? Dedication. Dedication commitment, they were willing to scrap and chase every shadow on the pitch. To me, if you are able to do that, if you are humble enough to fight for each other and to die for each other on that pitch, no matter where you are, and to play, to leave everything on that pitch, we will make it. Because we have the talent, we have the, we have the capability. Your coaches will give you all the direct, all the instructions, all the strategy, all the tactics. But the most important thing is it boils down to commitment, humbleness, and execution on that day. That is what is going to make us the best of the best. We want to write your name in history. This is it. If you want your name written in history, this is it. This is the AFCON. And Chairman, this is the first time we're playing, uh, or the second time, the 23. Second time. second time we're playing. So we have to make it. 
It's not just about representing. You've gotten there already. We expect that. Now we have to bring something bigger. You have to put your name down in history that you've made it. So I will not spend too much time. I know you guys are in a hurry. So on behalf of the president, the FA, and also on behalf of the executive council, I wish you well. I wish you Godspeed. And I know that the whole country is yearning for something special to come from you. The whole country is hoping for something special from you. And I know, inshallah, with God's grace, you guys will make it all proud. Thank you and good luck.